2019. My husband is not a happy camper because I am here <laughs> looking after my horses, commuting to my horses instead of being home at Charles Creek Road getting us settled in. So if my husband is not a happy camper, I'm not a happy camper because happy husband, a happy life. Negligence has consequences. I neglected to deworm Sky last week when she showed the first signs of maybe having worms or other parasites. I neglected that because I wasn't paying attention. I dewormed Sky yesterday, but obviously I am too late because uh, she has been rubbing quite a bit of tail off already. Negligence has real life consequences. In this case, my negligence to deworm her on time led to her destroying her tail which I am bumming about because I am uh, a huge big fan of beautiful, bushy, well-maintained tails in Maine. So I'm very sad about this. But as unfortunate as this is, I have nobody to blame but me. I was not paying attention. And because I wasn't paying attention, Things were neglected that should have been attended to. And neglect always invariably leads to negative consequences and costly consequences. In this case, it costs me her beautiful tail. Not the whole thing, thank God. And now it's costing me lotions and potions to try to make her tail look good again. <laughs> this stuff is not cheap, you know. I still had to deworm them. So I didn't even save me anything. I know. How can you even put a number on this? My beautiful tail, all raggedy. Actually, that stuff works pretty good. Well worth the money. I guess we have to uh, file this under too little, too late. Who is without sin, throw the first stone. Who is without mistakes, throw the first stone. If you had to throw a stone at me for every mistake I ever made, for every time I let somebody down, for every time I was dead wrong, for every time I neglected to do something that had consequences, for every time I failed miserably, you would be very busy for a long time. <laughs> Before you know it, you would have created a mountain of stones the size of Mount Everest. 
it's probably the most efficient to just put me in the Grand Canyon and then and then just stand on the edge and by the time you threw enough stones in there <laughs> to walk across like it's a gravel road you probably are square with me so I won't judge you harshly because I know that as you judge, so shall you be judged. So it's not in my best interest at all, come to think of it, to judge you harshly for not paying attention. Because by golly, I know what not paying attention looks like. And of course, blah, 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 yadi, 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 excuse, excuse, ex excuse. I get tired just saying all these excuses. I haven't even made one excuse yet. So no matter the legitimacy of my excuses, I still have to deal with the consequences. So judgment or throwing stones don't need to go hand in hand with just dealing with consequences. We don't need to add judgment or anger or frustration in the mix. We don't need to. We can just sit together and acknowledge what is so, and then move forward together constructively. That's what I would like to suggest, because I am not about to swing the first tail at you. What, do I need to pay attention to you? Is that what you're saying? I am not interested in judging you harshly, because I am not interested in going to hell with you. I much rather would go to heaven with you, or to the kingdom of heaven. I much rather go to paradise with you, to the garden of Eden. I much rather would join in Christ with you than join you in some sort of crisis. Some sort of legal battle, some sort of duking it out. Life's too short for that bullshit. Why don't we come together in truth, in Christ, and figure out a way forward. If my lawyer hears me talk like this, he'll probably think I've gone mashaha. To which I would declare, I'm not crazy, I'm go fifi.